Hello everyone, it is time for another wad vlog. We are doing our Hit It Hard Wednesday workout today. So we're doing a full body resistance workout that's uh, set at such tempo that we're also gonna get that cardio that we need thrown in with our strength training so we can get our cardio needs and our strength gain needs taken care of all in one workout. So we have a five movement circuit today. It's gonna be an AMRAP, like always, a 15 minute AMRAP. So we've got a descending uh, rep scheme today. So that means the first few workouts we're gonna be doing higher reps, those middle ones are gonna be in between, and that, the last exercise two that we're gonna do are gonna be in that lower, uh, like five rep range. So, should be lots of fun, so you'll get, uh, you know, you kinda like go super hard at the beginning, and then as you fatigue, we'll sort of taper off the load, so you can be able to you know, recover pretty well within a, like a 10 to 15 second window, and you can get another circuit going. So, with that said, we're gonna go ahead and get in to the exercise demonstrations. Uh, today, this whole workout is centered around the landmine, which you see laying behind me here, connected to the rig. So there's the barbell, and then it's, the barbell is in the landmine over there. So all five workouts for, uh, in our circuit today are all going to use that landmine. So you just get that barbell stuck in there, put some extra weight on it if you need it, and then you can get going with your workout. So our first movement of the circuit is going to be a bent over row. So I'm going to stand with the barbell between my legs like so with the weight facing away from me, the rig and the landmine at my back. I'm gonna grab the barbell just next to the, uh, the, the weighted shiv on it with one hand over the other. It doesn't matter which hand is on top of the other. Uh, that's really just probably you're gonna want your dominant hand on top, whatever feels most comfortable for you. So I'm going to hinge at the hip, with the knee slightly bent, mostly straight, get that back nice and flat chest open, shoulders down and back, pull it just off the ground, now I'm going to pull that weight up to my chest, focusing on squeezing at the back. Popping it up, pulling it down slow and controlled. You're gonna get 15 reps of this, and then you're gonna move on to the next exercise. So the next exercise in our circuit is a goblet squat using the barbell and the landmine. So I'm gonna stand this time facing the landmine and the weight facing towards me. I'm gonna pick it up, put one hand over the other just like so. Just holding the, uh, again, I'm holding the shift of the barbell. My feet nice and wide. You'll notice for this, I'm leaning a little bit forward because as I come down, this barbell is going to be closer to where I'm standing. So I've got it right here, the weight kind of resting on my chest, keeping my shoulders back, chest up, going down in my squat, popping back up. You get the idea, you're gonna get 15 reps of this and you'll move on to the next exercise. So for our next exercise in the circuit, setup's gonna be very similar. Well, instead of having both hands on the weight, I'm gonna have just one hand on it. I'm gonna stand slightly leaning into the barbell. Now I'm just gonna press this straight overhead with the one arm, trying to keep my elbow nice and tight. Keep that shoulder back. You're gonna get 10 reps total of this. So once you get five reps on one arm, you'll switch to the other arm and get another five reps, and then you'll be done with this station in the circuit. And for our fourth movement in the circuit, I'm gonna be standing, uh, kind of facing perpendicular with the barbell. I'm gonna want the end of the barbell probably just inside my knee. And I'm gonna be deadlifting this with just the one arm. So that's gonna uh, create some contralateral force across the core, so I'll have to resist, uh, resist the, uh, that lateral flexion of the spine, so that'll be good to stabilize the core as well. But um, kind of like the issue we ran into with the goblet squat, as I pull this up, the barbell is gonna be further away from where I'm standing right now. So it's kind of the opposite of with the goblet squat. So you're gonna wanna stand with this weight a little bit on the inside of your knee so that you don't end up with your hand way out here when you pull it all the way up. So I'm gonna do this just like a normal deadlift, only this hand's just gonna be kind of hanging out in the space. We're doing 10 reps total of this. 
So, so, you, get, so you get five reps of that on the one arm. We'll switch to the other arm. Get another five reps, and then you'll be ready to move on to the last exercise of the circuit. So this last exercise of the circuit is probably the most simple in concept, but one of the most uh, complex, and by that mean, I mean using the most muscles in concert, or the most compound, rather. Uh, so I call this an arch. I've also heard it called it around the world. Uh, but the main idea is that you're gonna start with the weight on one side, keeping your hips square with the landline. You're going to lift the weight, raise it overhead, set it down on the other side, creating an arch over you. So that should look something like this. I like to switch my grip at the top. From here, switch my hands, set it back down. This is a pretty tough exercise. Like I said, it uses a lot of muscle groups. So we're only going to be yeah. doing five reps of this exercise. <clears throat> so that is a wrap for Hit It Hard Wednesday. I appreciate you guys tuning in and watching the video. As always, if you have any questions, direct message me on Instagram at TRG underscore fitness, or you can email me directly at caveman at I'd love to help you guys out, answer any questions that you might have. And hey, if there's any exercises that you think are super fun, you'd like to see on the water vlog sometime, I'd love to hear your ideas, uh, and I'd love to get you on here showing us your exercise sometime. So if you're interested in that, let me know. Uh, with all that said, I will see you guys tomorrow on Thursday for our Contact Strength Thursday workout. Uh, in the meantime, I hope you all have a fun time getting your gains in.